your company, and I mean your entire company, could run on autopilot, you know, like one of those self-driving cars that we like to daydream about. Well, let's just say that just like how with every passing year, we seem to get closer and closer to the reality of um, fleets of autonomous vehicles running through our streets. Similarly, we are inching closer and closer with every passing year to the reality of the autonomous enterprise. Today, you have to commit yourself. You have to commit your entire operating model towards automation. You must build automation as a pervasive fabric that runs across your business operations. You must build an automation fabric that connects your human employees, your digital workers, your AI agents within your enterprise, and even physical robots to your applications, your data, your processes, all of this so you can effectively shrink sort of the distance between your workforce and work and make your enterprise smarter. The automation fabric is this great weave that will help organizations to ascend the pyramid, to weave together automations across level one through level four. AI is fantastic for doing things like picking up patterns and recognizing patterns within data. And AI is good at starting to work more beyond the realms of structured data with things like semi-structured and unstructured data. AI is particularly good when you're talking about use cases where the data or the, the results from, uh, from the model or from the process might be probabilistic or have high variability. The next phase is actually moving towards something that we're now calling semantic automation. And semantic automation takes a robot beyond execution and seeing and increasingly into cognitive and thinking related tasks. The idea here is really to focus on true emulation of human level tasks without necessarily having to give the robot step-by-step -step instructions of what to go into. This approach of massive pre-trained deep learning networks in the transformer architecture has achieved tremendous success across a huge range of tasks, not just in processing language, but also in speech, in computer vision, uh, and more. And it is these capabilities that we are now ready to bring to bear on exactly the, the tasks that Tony spoke about. So if we think about the future, and I don't mean the distant future, we think about in academia, I mean the next 12 to 36 months, we can see that each of the items that Tony highlighted in yellow around uh, unstructured uh, documents, mining processes, uh, classifying emails, chatbots, all these actions, all these activities are now ready to benefit from semantic automation using deep learning techniques.